So guys, the test we're gonna be doing here, uh, this is gonna be our high velocity test. Once again, this is an ANSI Z7.1 test. This is safety eye we're testing. Don't have to do it, but we do know it's beneficial. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take a quarter inch steel ball bearing. I'm gonna fire it at 102 miles per hour, close to 150 feet per second from point blank range. This is gonna recreate real life situations. This could be you riding a bike, having a rock pop up and hit you in the eye. You could just be walking down the street though, small object gets kicked up by a truck. Now the lens material we'll be testing first today is gonna to be our glass lens material from competitor brand. Now, like we talked about earlier, we do not use glass in any of our sunglasses here at Oakley. Although it does have decent clarity, has a good scratch resistance, it's not very good at deflecting objects away from the eyes. So we'll go ahead and load this machine up. Now, according to ANSI, there are three standards that we need to meet to pass this test. No issues with lens retention, fragmentation, or contact with the eye. Three, two, one. So as you see, that fails on all accounts. You got a couple hundred pieces of sharp glass in your eye, a couple thousand dollars in reconstruction surgery, you'll never see that eye again. The eye muscle is the one muscle in the body that once it's damaged, it doesn't rejuvenate itself, and that's why we don't use glass in our sunglasses. But we can go ahead and do an Oakley radar lock with a plutonite lens. We're gonna do the same test, same rate of speed, same three standards passed. Three, two, one. So you scratch your lens, but you're still gonna see at the end of the day. We're gonna do it again, because I wanna hit the button. Oh, snap! I broke him. So the second test we're gonna be doing today, this is gonna be high mass. High mass involves a large object traveling at a slower rate of speed. What we're gonna be using today is a 500, gra uh, 500 gram or one pound, one ounce steel spike that we're gonna drop from four feet, two inches or 127 centimeters. The purpose of this test is to be recreating real life situations. This could be you riding a bike, misjudging a turn, taking a tree branch to the face. It could be at a t-ball game, catch a foul ball. This could also just be you sitting in a parked car, you get in a fender bender and the airbag goes off. So larger objects traveling at a slower rate of speed, the lens material we're gonna to use today is CR39. CR39 is a cast molded plastic. It's one of the more popular lens materials in the world right now. Your high, high end fashion designer brands like to use this, but also your gas station sunglasses use the same material. No real difference except for no branding on the side of the frame. Now according to Andy, we still have those three standards to pass today. No issues with lens retention, fragmentation, or contact with the eye. Three, two, one. So as you see, that fails on all accounts. Now you have a couple very sharp pieces of serrated plastic and a tree branch in your eye. Not exactly how you want to start your week. So we'll go ahead and do that same test on our Oakley Radar Lock. We already compromised the lens twice. We're going to show you guys some durability here today and run it through this test as well. Three, two, one. And you probably got a pretty bad headache, but you're still gonna see at the end of the day. So we wanna thank Steven for the amazing tour of the O-Lab in here, and hopefully you guys now know a little bit more what goes behind the amazing Oakley glasses, the, the lenses, the technology, the thought. You know, it's a fun building, but there's some serious stuff happening in here. Um, Steven, take us out, man. Yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys for coming to check everything out today as far as the optics, the impact safety, you know, there is a lot that goes into this eyewear and we're just kind of showing you guys a small portion today, but hopefully here in the future we'll have some more videos for you guys and showing you more of what goes on here at headquarters at One Icon. And we can do it all in prescription at SportRx, baby!